Hello everyone, I'm Gareth from Master Lancer before you again today and welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial. This time around I'm going to demonstrate how you can change your FOV settings to go below and above the limits in the Source SDK base 2013 code. So by default in Half-Life 2 and Portal and in this case your mod, the FOV bounds are 75 to 90. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can adjust this to go from 70 to 150. So it's not that tricky to do, it's just you have to know where to look. So for me, I spent over an hour trying to figure out what I needed to do. And I knew what it was I needed to do as well, but I just couldn't find the bit that I needed. But I found it now, so by following this tutorial you won't need an hour to find all the stuff you need to edit. So the first thing you want to do is go navigate to your um, you know, SP or MP folder and SRC. That's where your game and everything solution is going to be. Just load up the game solution. And when that's loaded up on the left side where the solution explorer should be or wherever, wherever that is, um, just type in FOV. Now you're going to get a ton of results because FOV is a bit of a general term and it'll load up stuff about vehicles and NPCs and stuff like that. Most of that stuff you don't need to bother with, so you can just hide that, but I'll just highlight the important files that you want to go to and what you want to change. So the first file you want to find is client mode underscore hlnormal.cpp and here is the definition of the fov underscore desired conva. And here you see it, the values are 75 and 90. So these are the lower and upper bounds for the field of vision. So you just want to change these. In my case, I'm changing them to 70 and 150. So you can just save that once you've add, you know, changed those values. But that's not enough. We need to keep going. So this is why we need to keep going. The next file you want to go to is base player underscore shared dot cpp and there should be a purple value or thing called max fov you just want to double click on that or right click on it and go to declaration so this will take you to another file called shared defs dot h and so you see uh max fov defined as 90 so you just want to change this to whatever the upper bound of the FOV desired convar was. So I said 150 as the maximum FOV. So just change 90 to 150. If you go back to base player underscore shared dot CPP, you would find that if you try to set the FOV to be something greater than the max FOV, then it's just gonna set that value to the max FOV value. So in this case, if you try to go and input an FOV that's greater than 150, it's gonna limit it at 150, essentially is what it's doing here. So that's why we need to make this change. But again, that's still not enough because there is a piece of code that essentially clamps the FOV. So we wanna go to gamewalls.cpp, you can probably just search for this in the uh, Solution Explorer. And in this file, there's going to be an IFOV clamp line. Uh, you'll see it in the video. And this clamps the FOV between 75 and 90. This is why I was having so much trouble because you kind of see it's, it's in an if statement that basically comments out this bit of code, so I couldn't find it. But essentially, you just want to change the limits to what you defined in the FOV underscore desired conva. So in my case, you just changed the 75 to 70 and the 90 to 150. So once this is all done, you can save your project and boot up or go into debugging, I guess, of the mod. And what you should find is if you change your FOV desired, it should change and go beyond 90 and you can go to 120 or 150, for example. But one of the things you can see is that if you go near walls, um, the camera kind of clips through the wall and you see outside of the map and you don't want to have that happen. So one last change you can make is to go to view.h and near the top you should see something called view underscore near z and right now it's set to something like seven so what you want to do is just decrease this value so i set it to three 
and essentially what this does is it makes it so the camera doesn't clip through walls when you have a larger FOV. So you can save that and debug it and you should be able to change your FOV. The camera doesn't clip through the wall, but the only way you can change this at the moment is by using the console. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is how you can use um, essentially the FOV slider in the video options. So to be able to actually do this, you want to go to your Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, your source SDK base 2013 single player or multiplayer folder, go to HL2 and resource. And in this folder, you should see something called options sub video advanced DLG dot res. Uh, you just want to copy that and paste it into your mods resource folder. So in my case, because I'm using the HL2 code, I would go to my um, SP game mod HL2 resource and paste this file in there. If you're using the episodic code, you just go to the mod underscore episodic folder and paste it into that resource folder in that folder, if that makes sense. So... The changes we're making to the FOV alter both the clients and the server code on both the HL2 and episodic branches. But this step, it does depend on whether or not you're using the HL2 or the episodic code. I think I'll just stress that. So once you have that, just open, once you pasted the file into the resource folder in your mod, just open it up and scroll down a bit until you see the FOV slider section. You know the right one because it will say um, CVAR underscore name FOV desired at some point in this uh, FOV slider section. And you should also see min values, max values, and you just want to change those to 70 and 150. Uh, well, I'll change that to 70 and 150. Whatever the lower and upper bounds are in your case, just change them to that. And if you save that and go into debugging, then what you should find is under the advanced video options now, the FOV slider goes from 70 to 150 so you can change the fov using the video options which in turn changes the fov underscore desired convar which now works properly because it goes from 70 to 150 now and so you can change it without needing the console so that is pretty much it that's how you change the fov in your mod uh, hopefully you found this helpful I know I might have just fucked up in places, but you know what? That's all you need to do. I spent over an hour trying to find the GameWalls.cpp change, which I knew it had something to do with a clamp value being between 75 and 90, but I had to resort to searching the entire project just for FOV, and basically I found that file, and it's like, yeah, that's what you need to change. So hopefully you found this uh, helpful. Uh, next tutorial is going to be about changing the concussive blast function. So I'll see you for that. Take care, peace out, and see you for the next video.